from the style vlog today i'm going to show you how to curl your hair with a straightener guys my last how to curl your hair with a straightening iron video just surpassed 16 million views <sighs> what that video is now 10 years old and i figured it's time to make a new updated version plus i read through all 8,000 comments on that video and i'm going to answer your most frequently asked questions and most common problems at the end of this video so all you're going to need for this tutorial is a straightening iron and a hair clip or hair tie Optional products are hairspray and heat protectant. I sprayed my hair with a heat protectant before filming this and I'll link my favorites below. Okay, very first thing I'm gonna do is just pull my hair halfway up. And I'm gonna twist it and secure it with my clip. Okay, so first tip, I would suggest you start with your straightening iron off. So it's nice and cool. This way you can practice the motion as many times as you need without burning your hair. Okay, so I normally take my hair in six sections on the bottom and six sections at the top. So I'm just gonna take roughly a third of my hair from this side. You can experiment with different size sections as well. I'm gonna take my straightener here. This is off so we can practice. I'm just going to clamp my hair here, twist it all the way around, so that your hair is now facing down and then just gently pull your hair through the straightener. Again, let's practice that one more time. So we're going to clamp, twist it all the way around until our hair is pointing down out of the straightener and then just pull it all the way through and you should have nice curls. So let's turn it on and get started. Okay, so another super quick tip. So when you're doing, when you're curling your right side, you want to twist it toward you and then pull down. And then the left side, you want to twist it away from you and pull down. That way the curls will kind of fall away from your face instead of turning in toward your face. It'll just kind of frame your face a little bit better. But don't worry if you can't get that at first. We'll keep working on it. Okay, my straightener is heated up. Let's get started. All right, so I'm just going to clamp this next to my roots. And then we're just going to twist and pull like we did when the straightener was off. Okay, so we're going to clamp twist it until the tail is facing down and then just pull this through. Ooh la la, look at that curl. Okay, let's move to the next section and we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to clamp, twist, and then pull it straight down. Ah, nice pretty curls. Guys, this looks so good. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so you probably noticed that we were twisting away from my face on this side. So we're going to twist toward my face on this side. Okay, so clamp. We're going to twist toward my face. And then just pull it all the way through. Ah, nice, beautiful curls. Guys, this creates the most perfect curls. I love it. <laughs> Okay, and so that is it for the bottom section. Look how beautiful these curls are. They're so pretty and voluminous and gorgeous. Hope you can see now how we kind of tried to make the curls curl away from our face on this side and this side. If you don't get that the first time, don't worry about it. You can work on it the next time. Okay, so now that the bottom is perfectly curled, I'm going to just take a little bit of hairspray and spray this so it stays in place. Okay, next step is to take the rest of our hair down. You can actually do this in more sections than just two if you have a lot more hair. Okay, so what we're going to do for this top section is we're just going to curl the parts that we haven't yet curled. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the top portion here, do the same thing, I'm gonna to go toward my roots. I'm going to clamp, I'm gonna twist away from my face since I'm on the right side until the hair is facing down and then just pull it through. Sometimes it might get stuck a little, you can just kind of wiggle it to get it all the way down. Just don't hold it in one place for too, too long. Ha, ah, beautiful curls. All right, looking good, let's keep going. Guys, it's so satisfying each time your curl comes out of the straightener. It just feels so good. <laughs> you probably notice that sometimes I like to brush my hair through a little bit with my brush. It just kind of keeps it from getting tangled. All right, I'm gonna clamp it, twist it away, pull it through. 
slower on the thicker pieces. I kind of got a lot of hair with this one, so I just want to make sure that all of the hair gets the heat and um, gets the curl correctly. Ah, so pretty and perfect. to go through and make sure that all the pieces are curled. If I see a straight piece, I'll go ahead and curl it. So this is a thinner piece, so I'm not going to hold the heat on it quite as long as I did for that thick piece. You can do your hair in thinner or thicker sections. It's kind of just up to you. So guys, whoa, this looks so pretty. Oh, I love it. Look at those beautiful curls. Yes. Okay. I'm going to spray this side. Ha. Guys, look at that beautifulness. I can't even handle it. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta finish the other side. Sarah, calm down. I get too excited. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take my very first section here, clamp it, and then remember we turn it toward our face. And then pull it down slowly. Ha! Ah, nice pretty curls. So beautiful. Okay, and then just continue doing it for the rest of your hair here. part of the bottom section again with the top it's not really a big deal I try to avoid it but don't sweat it okay so I'm just gonna check my hair for little stray pieces that kind of may have slipped through that aren't curled all right looks like we got everything ha huh, I just love playing with my hair when it's curly okay I'm gonna spray this side like I did the first one Guys, hello. <laughs> Look at these curls. Um, yes, gorgeous, beautiful. I love it so much. Okay, so as I promised, we're going to go over your most frequently asked questions from my last video and some sort of problems that I've noticed that you guys mentioned along the way. Okay, so the first most common problem I hear is just a generic, my hair won't curl. Okay, well, let's figure that out. First off, you want a straightener that has plates that go all the way to the edge of the straightener. I know some of them go in quite a ways and you're not gonna get that full curl because it's not curling the hair as it's heating it. So I noticed that the Chi straighteners work super well for this. I actually have an expensive GHD straightening iron and the plates don't go near the edge and it's almost impossible to curl your hair with a straightening iron, which is such a bummer. So if you can't get it to work with your straightening iron, maybe try a friend or family members to see if it works a little bit better. Next problem, it kind of goes with the first problem, is just I can't get this straightening motion down, the twisting and pulling. That's fine if you try and try and you can't get it. I'm gonna show you one other way to do these curls. Okay, so let's try a piece using a different sort of mindset than we were using before. So instead of clamping it like this, we're gonna clamp it up and down, kind of more like a curling iron or a curling wand. So this way is easier to understand if you're going toward your face or away from your face. So I'm just gonna clamp this here and then I'm just gonna twist it the way I want it to go and pull it on through. Ta-da, it gives us the same result. It's just a different kind of way of looking at it. Okay, and then the last most common problem that I've heard from you guys is that your hair won't hold a curl. So I have a solution for this for you guys. So I would suggest using a hairspray before and after or a sort of gel or a mousse in your hair before you curl. Make sure you're using some sort of heat protection because I don't want you guys to fry your hair. Please don't do that. Okay, see so ladies whose hair won't hold curl, I feel you. Let me show you one last trick to kind of help you out. Okay, so I just found another piece to recurl. You can either do this for every single time you curl it or just the top portion. Okay, so I'm just gonna curl this piece like normal and I'll show you the trick at the end. While it's still warm, I want you to take this curl and kind of twist it back up the direction that it's curling. Okay, so you'll notice that I wrapped it all the way up in the direction that it was curling. I'm going to take a bobby pin and secure it to my scalp here. This doesn't look so fancy. <laughs> and I'm going to spray it. I'm going to spray it quite a bit actually. Okay, so after I spray it and it's all clipped up here, I'm just going to wait for the spray to dry and my hair to cool and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so my hair has cooled and the hairspray is dry. Let's take this down. 
see how much curlier that piece is and it's very very hair sprayed so it will stay much longer especially if you have really slick sort of hair that doesn't hold a curl very well I promise this will make your curl last longer <laughs> okay friends I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you learned how to curl your hair with a straightening iron if you have any questions or problems please leave them below and I'll get back to you uh, I have tons more hair tutorials make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I'll see you next time bye